We'll win, baby. Let's go. We're going to have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at the the latest mod from Young Benji over at Ostrix Creations. This is called the Kite. It is an 18350 mod and it has a FET inside it and it was released at the Hall of Vape in Stuttgart in Germany. And uh, I got to catch up with Benji over there as always. I saw the original ones and uh, yes, it's a, it's a very bonny mod. Prices for these, you're looking at £185 for the Stab Wood ones. You're looking at £175 for the Delrin versions. Sorry, I should say the 185 also covers, there's Juma ones as well, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you'll have postage on top of that as well. And you can buy these by, I'm pretty sure it's through a MeWe group now, but if you go along to the Facebook group, you'll find out all the relevant information on when they're made available, when lists are up and, and things like that. All the other good stuff I shall cover in the close-ups. For those of you that don't know, Ostrix Creations and Benji, uh, this is what he's more famous for, uh, the half mods, single 18650 and mechanical squonkers, and these are my own ones and I love them to bits. But this video is about the kite and uh, it turns up in one of these little flight cases. Open her up and there we go. Now there is no manual or anything in here, it's just the mod. So the mod itself, uh, the, this is a, a FET that's inside here, it's a, a click FET. Uh, so you do have on off and short protection and, and all the other good stuff. Uh, but uh, so we have an 18350 tube here. I'm pretty sure this is one of uh, Rob's from Stealth Ape. I know the 510 is from Rob at Stealth Ape as well, but this has been tweaked slightly. Normally what happens with these mods is that uh, the 510 uh, underneath you will have a nut you know, you drop the 510 down and then you'll have a nut that will screw up and then you usually get a wire soldered from, you know, the FET to the actual 510 itself. Uh, that's not actually happened in here. There are no wires. He's actually used silver traces, uh, insulated 0.5 millimeter silver strips, and hopefully this will reduce any kind of voltage drop. So that's something a little bit different on that front. Uh, we have our firing button here. Obviously this is from the same block as we have here and You've got a nice little click going on there. Spring-loaded 510 up the top. We do have the three screws holding it down there. Uh, we do have two screws here, and uh, yeah, you can. I've taken it off. I've had a look, and uh, yeah, you've got uh, the FET is mounted in a custom Delrin, you know, a little carry system underneath this stainless steel plate here on the bottom. We have uh, yeah, we can just unscrew this here, and we can pop in our 18350 battery. As always, yes, you know the drill by now, yet yeah, you go off and uh, you make sure that your batteries are up to the job. You know, don't put any builds on here that, uh, you know, your battery cannot handle. Uh, short and sweet version is if you're going 18350, then you want the resistance on your coil to be as high as you can, and that way you'll get a decent lifetime out of the battery. I'm going to screw on the Precisio, I think that's, I always get the name wrong. I just reviewed this, uh, this is 22 millimeters in diameter. I've got a 0 0.9 ohm build in here just now, and you get an idea how this looks like with an actual ATI on it. Now at its widest point here, you are looking at 39 millimeters. The height is about 56.8 millimeters. I get that roughly with my calipers. And you're looking about 26 millimeters across here. So yeah, it's a 22 millimeter 510, but you know, you would get a wider at it on here. But me, I think, you know, for, for an 18350 mod, yeah, 22 millimeters will always look the best in my opinion. Now hopefully you can see here that when I fire this, there is a, a little blue LED underneath here. So one, two, three, four, five. The little blue LED flashes away. That's it off. One, two, three, four, five. And that's it back on. So one thing I will point out is that uh, if you're like me and you, and you like fiddling with things, uh, be careful if you do take this off and you put it back together. Uh, don't over tighten these torch screws here because if you over tighten them, you're going to push down on this button here and you will, you can, if you over tighten it, you can lose the clickiness. Uh, it's just that, I've no click there. It, it's firing away, but I've lost my click. This isn't a fault with the design or anything like that. This is me just warning idiots like myself that like, uh, that like breaking things. See, you can hear the clicks back now just by backing off the screw just a tiny little bit and making sure that they're not over tightened. 
I'll take the tank off and we'll, we'll just give you one last look around this. Now, obviously, the, you know, there's many different blocks that you can get. They'll all get listed up on the, the Facebook group, I'm sure, or the MeWe group, and you get an idea. But it's, I think it's a gorgeous design. Um, me personally, I, I wish it was 18650, uh, and I can't. I really hope he puts out an 18650 version. And with any luck, and I did speak with Benji about this when we were in uh, Germany, is that if you just had this here, but mirrored on the bottom like that, that makes sense. So you had that and that, but it was an 18650, so it'd be like this turned upside down and stuck in the bottom. Uh, and, and I think that would be gorgeous. I should say about the click fit, yes it has the on off and it has a voltage cutout, I think it's at 3.1 volts and uh, yes if you put the battery in the wrong way it will auto fire but that's just to tell you that you've put the battery in the wrong way and, and as always some people get upset about that but um, in the past in the old days if you put the battery in the wrong way it would like fry the board. This way, you, it's just firing to let you know it's in the wrong way. So that's a good thing. Uh, this is very, very comfortable. This is, uh, for an 18350, and, and we kind of, this was discussed in my Facebook group, um, it's not the smallest 18350 I've ever come across. However, uh, the size of it is, it, it's just right. I think if it was smaller, it wouldn't actually be as comfortable due to the design here. Uh, so this just kind of works perfectly for me. I, I tend to hold it like this when I'm vaping with it. And obviously you're going to do, it's an 18350 mod. You're not going to be chucking clouds with this thing. You want the resistance, you know, to be especially with the new technology uh, on these 18350 batteries, you want it to be above 0 0.6. Um, you know, the higher you can go, the better. Now, if I want to do, and I have to treat this mod, even though I know Benji, I love Benji to bits, um, uh, and I love his work, I always have, I'm very lucky. I have two halves here and I treasure them, uh, but even that, you know, I have to give the same cons as I would to any other company. Uh, there, there's no battery direction marked for the tube. It is positive up, but I would still like to see an indicator on here telling you which way the battery should go. Uh, also, there, there's no manual as such, even a little bit of paper inside this flight case that said, even printed off the spec of the board and told you how many clicks on, how many clicks off, that kind of thing. I know it's just small, but any other company, you know, big company, if they'd sent me a mod with no instructions or guidelines, then yeah, I'd be saying it's a con, so I have to apply, apply the same thing to this mod as well. I do know the majority of people that buy these kind of things know all this stuff already, but uh, yes. I don't like screws. I, I, I don't like screws there. I mean, for me, and this is, my own taste, this is my own taste. I mean, I have things in my collection that I love that lots of other people don't like. Uh, for me, I don't like screws seen in metal plates like that. Now, there's two ways of looking at that. There's one, yeah, you just don't like the look of it. The other is, you know that that silver plate there, the stainless steel plate is not just glued in place. Uh, of which, um, you know, there's two trains of thought when it comes to that. Some people like to know that, you know, they can get into this just by undoing two screws and some people don't want to see it, but then you have the whole, you know, the whole thing's held together by hot glue, which is, yeah, it's frowned upon by a lot of people. So it's, it's your call. It's just me and my personal taste. And I just, I, I kind of think it detracts from the, the look a little bit, having the two screws there. But that's me. The finishing on the wood is superb. It really is. I mean, it's just a tiny little block of wood, but the, the, the styling and everything is really, really nice. And you will get a bigger atty on there than a 22 mil, uh, but uh, I just, as once again with an 18350, I just think it suits a 22 a lot better. Have another quick vape here. Yeah, I, I really do think that the size is, once again, I think it could probably could have been smaller, but I just, the size is just perfect. I just holding it like that. It's great. There's not a lot else I can actually say about this. Uh, it, it's it's a bonny wee thing. 
It is. It's really, really nice. And I, I really, and as much as I don't use 18350s as much as I used to in the past, uh, but um, I really do hope, you know, he does the, the mirror. He mirrors this, flips it, and puts it down the bottom. So you've got that and that block down here. I think as an 18650, I think that'll be absolutely gorgeous. And uh, I really hope he does it. Benji, do it. You know you want to. Uh, but for the kite, it's cute as a button. It really is a nice little mod. And um, go along, check out the Facebook group, and you'll see all the different types of finishes. Once again, it's not just stab wood. There is Juma and there is Delrin as well. The only cons I had for this device were actually the... F yeah, yeah, I just think there should be some information included with it. But that's it. It's really really pretty benji thank you as always and to you guys once again thank you so so much for watching and until next time bye for now